How's it going? Trey Clark here as I usually am, and I'm going to jump right into this as I usually do. I am going to uh, attack this from a different side of the coin as I usually do, and it has to do with flat earth and flat earthers and the movement. The reason I'm using that word is because people are using that word too much for my comfort. It is not a movement. It is an exchange of ideas and facts that we all need to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves with. Okay? I don't know that the earth is flat. Sorry, I'm getting uh, trolled here. Uh, I don't know that the earth is flat. I don't know that it's not 10 times bigger than they say it is. I haven't even done the math on it, nor do I care to. It doesn't affect my life. Even if it's round and spinning, God damn these motherfuckers. Uh, even if it's spinning at a thousand miles an hour and it, it, the equator, and I found out tomorrow that everything that my gut was telling me is wrong, it doesn't affect my day at all, other than I know there's going to be a shit ton of people going, I told you, motherfucker, I told you! And, uh, and that'll suck for a day or two, but shit, that happens to me by breakfast every morning. So, uh... So the thing that scares me is this idea that it's a movement. A movement means there is a, you're going somewhere. And I don't want this to be going anywhere other than light being shined, not traveling in a direction. Because to go in a direction, you have to find out where you want to go. I don't want to go anywhere. I want to see where I am. And that's a big difference between where I am and what I saw a lot of at the Flat Earth Conference. I'm not knocking anyone there. A lot of people put in a lot of work and have woken me up. And I owe it to a lot of people just that I, I've never met. Uh, nor do I need to. But So I appreciate their work. There are people, though, that look a little smug. They're enjoying the spotlight. They are coming across as people like... The same as people on NASA's side, like Brian Cox and Neil deGrasse, that are like, normally, they would be the ones getting wedgies and, uh, and swirlies, uh, even as adults, by me, probably. Uh, and they're just being adored and lavished and, uh, and, and, and just all the light is shining on them. And you can tell they like it. Well, I saw a little bit of that at the conference. Not constantly, but I didn't see the same humbleness I was expecting to see. And the reason I went was to see, uh, I'm real big on body language. Like, I'll take someone's body language over their information to see what I think of them any day of the week. The way they deliver stuff, the way they look at you in the eye, uh, their nervousness, how much they touch their face, you know, that type of stuff. To decide whether their information is sound or not before I even look into it. So, but I bet I have some, some history with that uh, as far as looking for it more than your average person. So, but I saw it, I did see it. And then at the end there was this huge party and there's all this, and the music was fucking horrible. Sorry, some of y'all were there and maybe you were the one singing. But I was like, we're supposed to be humble here. Why are we celebrating? We haven't won anything, we haven't done anything. I understand there's a party that goes on after people put in a lot of hard work but we haven't convinced anyone of anything. We haven't won any battle. All we've done is grown in numbers of like-mindedness. And to me, that's not a win. And I'm not dogging anyone who partook in it. I was there. I went alone with my dog. Uh, and, and it was, I'm, I'm glad I went. But the thing that scared me was, it wasn't as humble as I thought it should be. And it's the same thing is what happened when I got really involved with the church. And I was a worship leader in a, a, a panhandle mega church. And then I was a children's worship leader in a, a church in River Oaks in Houston. And the thing that got me during that was very similar. So I'm, I'm keen on looking for this stuff. It's people that are supposed to be humble that are just kind of a little smug, just a little too cool for school when you want to walk up, walk up and and uh, and shake their hand or something like that. And I had a VIP 
pass, $400 pass to the Flat Earth Conference. But I wanted access to get everywhere. I, was, I figured this is a one-time deal. And uh, if I'm going to go, I'm going to go and stop. Uh, or do it, the, do it right if I'm going to do it, you know. That's, that's more my personality. So that's all I'm saying. Beware, beware, be sharp, be keen on people that, even people that might, and just like in church, people that started out doing it for the right reasons, once they start making money, they can't take a step back. Once their house payment depends on their opinion being right or their facts not being disputed, then they have just erased the idea that it's a good idea to sit there and look at something and go, I got to start all over on the last two years of work. That's scary to me. I don't like it. Uh, and I'm, I'm paying attention to that in a huge way. I'm not contesting that people's work is right or wrong. That has nothing to do with this. It has more to do with the conception uh, or conceptualizing the idea that just imagine the scenario, someone who is making good money, which they should, anyone who's creating content deserves to make whatever money they wanna make, and I'm not questioning anyone's motives or saying anyone's doing this. It's just a thought experiment that I think is important to partake in. Uh, a lot of people would have saved themselves a lot of grief in the church community if they would have partook, partaken in this, uh, same experiment in that area. And this is not a religion. This is not a movement. We don't have a leader. We don't have a pope. We don't tithe. It is literally just an exchange of information. If it goes beyond that, and you want to get to that destination, you're gonna to have to have a movement. And there is no destination other than shining light on where we are, not where we wanna be. Because if you want the earth to be flat, you're gonna be compromised. That is what is so fucking important with with staying true to stuff it's in all honesty just in my own world there's a reason why i was scared to death of getting monetized which i haven't been i don't make any money off of these videos or anything at all and it's it's by design i'm building up a channel and maybe i'll do something later but that's not it scares me because then you're built on a house of cards because if all you're doing is building on something that what has four or five years at tops of good research, that's, that's where you're gonna build your house on. That's shaky ground and I'm not willing to go there. I'm willing to speak what I think is true today and if it changes tomorrow, my life doesn't change at all. And make sure, I mean, just think about it. I'm not telling you what to do, it's your fucking life and, and I don't want you telling me what to do. But watch people, watch people that lavish or that that enjoy the spotlight. Watch the people that are just a little too smug for being uh, someone good with a camera and, uh, and video editing. And uh, a lot of these people had never been paid attention to ever. And suddenly they get exploded onto the scene and they're talking at conferences and flying all over the world and it's great. I don't want to take that away from them. It's just something to pay attention to. All I'm saying but my gut is telling me there might be some some players that are worth paying attention to and along the way of doing that just remember if you are trying to get to a place other than the truth and the place is not the truth is not a destination the truth is light the truth gives you the ability to look around it doesn't lead you anywhere okay the truth just shows you, all right, now I know what I'm dealing with. And then you can act accordingly. It is not a movement. It's an exchange of ideas. And if you are using it as a movement or you want to become a part of it, uh, you're probably doing it wrong. That's my biggest fear. I'm probably not uh, relaying my exact feelings about this. And I'm also not trying to accuse anyone of anything. It's just whatever I see, people getting smug, my light bulb goes off and I'm like, you don't really know. We don't, flat earthers don't have rockets that can go up and look, okay? All we can do is go, that looks like it's full of shit, and then go from there. 
So there's a lot of room for error after that. So I'm just being, I'm trying to humble myself by making sure I'm sticking myself out there saying, I don't know. I do know when people are lying to me, and I've seen plenty of that. So uh, cheers, guys. Hope you're having a great night.